just in. North Korea sends devastating news to President Trump in America, this is bad. President Trump has as of late moved a U.S. naval force strike bunch from Australia to the oceans around the Korean promontory as a response to the inexorably unfriendly and disrespectful conduct of North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un and his current ballistic missile tests. The rebel state has now guaranteed to utilize atomic weapons if the U.S. chooses to assault the state in any capacity. Be that as it may, President Trump is not being aloof. Donald Trump said that North Korea is looking for trouble inside hours after the state chose to utilize nuclear weapons as a reaction to a potential risk by the U.S. North Korea is looking for a trouble, President Trump said. If China decides to help, that would be great. If not, we will solve the problem without them. USA Apparently, North Korea is ready for any likely attack by the U.S. Our revolutionary strong army is keenly watching every move by enemy elements with our nuclear site focused on the U.S. invasionary bases not only in South Korea and the Pacific Operation Theater but also in the U.S. mainland, wrote the country's state-run Rodong Sinmun newspaper. Past week, President Trump met with Chinese President Xi Jinping at his bequest in Florida where he asked Xi to react to North Korea's forceful position. After the experience, the Chinese president put forth encouraging expressions on exchange and joint effort. I believe we will keep developing in a stable way to form friendly relations, for the peace and stability of the world, we will also fulfill our historical responsibility, he remarked. Well, I agree with you 100 percent, the president replied. President Trump specified the meeting on Tuesday on Twitter where he at the end of the day communicated his yearning for China to make a move. I explained to the president of China that a trade deal with the U.S. will be far better for them if they solve the North Korean problem. He said. Trump's current assault on a Syrian base has ideally made both China and North Korea re-examine their future moves. The U.S. is fearless, they won't endure the utilization of compound weapons or pushing of nuclear projects. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth. Be patriots. Thank you for reading, for reading, leaked. Massive liar rocks Washington, Iran just drops a sledgehammer on Obama, Dems re-enraged. A while ago when points of interest from Obama's nuclear deal went in broad daylight a just couple of Democrats could guard it. What's more, as I can recall and still, after all, that an ever-increasing number of individuals were certain that the deal with Iran was horrendous. This is a similar motivation behind why now, Donald Trump is turned out to be the intense and legitimate arbitrator. Indeed, even while the battle was on, he clarified the issues with Obama's arrangements regardless of in the event that they were with the expectation of complementary exchange or outside approach. Be that as it may, Obama's poor treatment of Iran backpedals before that game-changing arrangement. Presently it is being uncovered that paying out billions of dollars to that Islamic tyranny for a considerable length of time. Via Patriot Journal Adam Credo reports The Obama administration has paid Iran more than $10 billion in gold, cash, and other assets since 2013, according to Iranian officials, who disclosed that the White House has been intentionally deflating the total amount paid to the Islamic Republic. The latest disclosure by Iran, which comports with previous claims about the Obama administration obfuscating details about its cash transfers to Iran including a $1.7 billion cash payment included in a ransom to free Americans sheds further light on the White House's backroom dealings to bolster Iran's economy and preserve the Iran nuclear agreement. Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesman Baram Ghesmi disclosed that the $10 billion figure just scratches the surface of the total amount given to Iran by the United States over the past several years. The $10 billion figure is actually a stingy estimate, Gaysmi claimed. Maybe there would be some basis behind it if the cash was focused on giving compassionate guide, albeit even that would be questionable, however, an examination expert at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies told. Given the nature of some of this sanctions relief, through the provision of gold and unfrozen assets, this money likely underwrote some of the Islamic Republic's more destabilizing regional activities. At the macro level, 
All of this continues to prove one larger point, the way the Iran deal was handled and the provision of sanctions relief during and after the talks that led to the nuclear accord continues to create problems for those interested in defending the integrity of the international financial system. So what had the Obama Association to hand billions of dollars of Americans cost dollars over to the Iranians? Aren't they enemy? In any occasion, Americans have sound inspirations to trust that this weird cash-related course of action will achieve an end with President Trump. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thank you for reading, for reading, horrible. Obama just got the worst news of his life, total humiliation. Syrians were ready for Obama's help and he betrayed them. Like a defeatist. He was either excessively powerless or simply couldn't have cared less. Both are not qualities America needs to find in its leaders. Obama's activities brought on a gigantic evacuee emergency that is tearing separated Europe, decent occupation Barack. Would you be able to have been a greater disappointment? The Daily Caller is detailing that individuals over the Arab world are regarding President Trump in a couple of interesting ways and disgracing Obama simultaneously. They have begun calling Abu Idga al Amriki, or Father of Idga, the American, via web based networking media. The moniker is a term of profound respect and regard for the president, taking after his unequivocal activity in light of the compound weapons U.S. authorities say President Bashar al Assad requested and also a gesture to bits of gossip that Haika was horrified to the point that she encouraged her dad to do what Barack Obama never would. Because Obama was a weak. One Syrian tells me the new Namda gear for President Trump on the ground in northern Syria is Abu Idga al-Amriki, a CNN international correspondent tweeted. When I saw President Trump in the United States taking action for the first time after six years of calling for help, we felt happy and grateful. Kassanide, a Syrian refugee who survived a 2013 chemical weapons attack said. Some eatery proprietors in Syria have regarded Trump with more than a moniker. With some notwithstanding changing the name of their shops to respect Trump. One Syrian man who contradicts Assad said he needs to name his first child after Trump. Maybe you in the West hate Trump, but he has already done far more for us than Obama, Najem Hassan a Syrian who lives in a city occupied by rebels against Assad said. We love him because he does more than he says, he's a man of action and at least he gives us something to hope for. Stunning, what a disappointment Obama was. Trump, be that as it may, has the entire world looking by and by to America for authority. Barack you won't be missed and it is a tremendous outrage that you cleared out Trump with such a wreck to tidy up. What's more? As Trump is demonstrating the world, activity is remunerated and weakness is exploited. Is it accurate to say that it isn't decent to at last have a president we can regard and that the entire world regards? It makes a difference. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thank you for reading, for reading, breaking. President Trump makes major announcement about arresting Hillary Clinton, you'll be shocked. All through a year ago's presidential election, Donald Trump over and again guaranteed that he would choose an uncommon prosecutor to put Hillary Clinton on trial for her numerous wrongdoings. On Wednesday, Trump said in a meeting that Clinton would confront a criminal trial right now, was it not for FBI executive James Comey? Daily Mail announced that Trump revealed to Fox Business Network head Maria Bartiromo that Comey saved Clinton by picking not to arraign her for misusing ordered records amid her time as Secretary of State. Do not forget when Jim Comey came out, he saved Hillary Clinton, Trump said. People do not realize that. He saved her life. Because I call it Comey 1. And I joke about it a little bit. When he was reading those charges, she was guilty of every charge. And then he said she was essentially okay. The president was alluding to a public interview Comey gave in July of a year ago in which he recorded a reiteration of Clinton's reckless indecencies, just to announce that he wouldn't ask the Obama Justice Department to pull her into court. Trump affirmed that Clinton would go to trial if Comey hadn't been, very, very good to her. 
he included that it's not very late to have Kami Venture down. But you know, I have confidence in him, Trump said of Comey. We'll see what happens. It's going to be interesting. I want to give everybody a good fair chance. Director Comey was very, very good to Hillary Clinton. That I can tell you. If he were not, she would be going to trial. Whenever inquired as to whether despite everything he wants to choose an uncommon prosecutor to research Clinton, Trump answered, I do not want to talk about that. I want to talk about positive. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth, be patriots. Thank you for reading. Thank you for reading. Mammoth scandal just erupts. Putin's spokesman exposed two massive facts that will ruin Hillary and the Prior today, Vladimir Putin's spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, went on CNN and uncovered two massive truths that will ruin Hillary Clinton and the Democrats at the same time. 1. Russia had no meaningful communications with President Trump's campaign. 2. The top people Hillary Clinton's campaign also met with the Russian ambassador during the election. Ouch! You can advise that CNN was really wanting to discover some proof demonstrating their lies about Russia, yet no luckiness. I think about how many of Hillary's counselors met with the Russians. Likewise, I'm certain you saw when Fareed Zakaria attempted to make it look like Putin's inclination to have Trump as president seemed to be evidence that he meddled in our decisions. That adds up to BS. It's much the same as Peskov stated. On the off chance that you were asked who you like better between somebody who said you were pure evil and somebody who said they will work with you, obviously, you would bolster the all the more inviting one. Likewise, I appear to recollect when Obama said that US elections were unhackable, then they attempted to turn the account. That sounds a great deal like fake news to me. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Share the truth.